one project I'm really excited about is this Robo Raven. The idea is to build a flapping wing air vehicle where you can independently control the wings and that lets you do some really interesting things as far as acrobatics and control and maneuvering. ARL is a basic research outfit and we're interested in looking at some of the challenges that are associated with the aerodynamics and the design. Um, it's a complicated system actually so there's a lot of little details that need to be worked out and well understood to design a vehicle like this that works well for a warfighter. So that as we so. start to build an understanding through experiments and simulations and different methods, we'll then be able to package all that up and offer it to the warfighter as a useful package, um, a useful vehicle which they can directly benefit from and accomplish the mission more effectively. There's been a few cases in the past where we've gotten attention from different local birds while we're test flying. Um, at least three or four times now, a hawk or maybe a falcon has attacked the robo raven, so they can kind of swoop in from above and we'll just hit it with the tower. And they probably just feel like it's violating their space or whatever, but I mean, it at least tells us that we are convincing enough to fool an animal, and so maybe that suggests that we're convincing enough to fool a person as well, and so we're kind of moving in the right direction. Um, and then on the other side of that is that you have some non-birds of prey that will fly around it and kind of make this formation and investigate it. And it's almost like this active camouflage, so they just sort of surround it and hide it, which is pretty cool. ARL has really provided a significant amount of manufacturing expertise. One of our technicians here, Steve Biggs, has been extremely helpful and instrumental really in the design and the, uh, the 3D printing aspects, which are really important. Because we want to be so focused on lightweight, we have to do these really complicated shapes and designs on a 3D printer. They couldn't have been done any other way, and they couldn't have been done by too many other people really because they were such difficult builds. And so ARL had this huge wealth of experience in modeling and prototyping. And for me to be able to tap on all of that and sort of leverage it into my work was really a key aspect of getting this thing to where it is now and will continue to be important as we move into the future. I'm working in the Advanced Manufacturing Laboratory at University of Maryland, which is run by Dr. S.K. Gupta and also Dr. Hugh Brock, and my two collaborators, Ariel perez Rosado and Luke Roberts. And so working with that group has been really beneficial because they each are bringing something different to the table in terms of expertise and skills. Um, some of the group are better in prototyping, some are better in experiments, uh, some are better in modeling. And when you sort of combine the best and brightest from the university atmosphere with the uh, Army Research Laboratory atmosphere, it really kind of multiplies the efforts of everyone involved and lets us get to these impressive results that we're starting to see now.